when in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another that calls evil good and good evil. When they look around and see only shards and shambles of a country that might have been. When they've been robbed of the rights which the laws of nature and nature's God entitled them. And the wretched ruins left when the long train of abuses has plowed way past the station comes the somber occasion to declare the causes which impelled them to a separation. The occasion to tell of what we've lost and of what we hold. We hold these truths to be self-evident, which means we shouldn't even have to say it. But all men are created equal. They are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights like life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness freedom of speech and of worship and of conscience. These are non-negotiable axioms. As you pillar and plunder and persist in abolishing them, we remind you that you never gave us these rights. You merely acknowledged them. Your only job was to protect them and not devolve into some mutant mishmash of ideological nepotism that would divide us and reduce us under absolute diabolical despotism. Let the facts be submitted to a candid world. We've gone from taxation without representation to taxation without restriction. It was not the founder's vision to lock me in my house, shutter small businesses, print money as a pacifier, and mandate that I get fired for not complying. As if I should be sentenced completely on the whim of a hapless halfwit that can't complete a sentence prince whose character is thus marked by every act which may define a tyrant, whose incompetence and overt spending mean that every dollar I earn is worth pennies. We've gone from a flag that represented unity and liberty, adventure and sacrifice, to one that represents division by race, gender and sexual appetites. We've gone from championing equality to demanding equity. We've gone from pursuing truth to idolizing trends, pathologies thus marked by the wholesale capitulation of every institution upon which we depend. We've gone from amber waves of grain and purple mountain majesties to vast glades of swamp gurgling in the shadowy shades of depravity. The tragedy of a system rotted, thus marked by corruption, vitriol, and every crisis being co-opted into further conglomeration of control. You've lost the vision. We, the people, are not the playthings of politicians. We are not pawns under the hands of some glitterati imperial brass. The blue-collar worker was not the whipping boy of the cosmopolitan managerial class. Middle America is not the armpit of America. Middle America is America. The silent majority is sick of the silencing, not to mention the coercion the compelling, the condescension. As if we know nothing of what's happening, of what's marked by globalist inquisitors informing us that we'll own nothing and be happy. We've gone from freedom of the press to being pressed for freedom. Thus marked, for instance, by the big tentacles of big tech slithering into every crevice of our existence. Google was good for settling debates about song lyrics or getting directions. Facebook was great for 8th grade graduation pics and scouring for old classmates and connections. But neither was ever supposed to determine the outcome of our elections. We didn't sign up for any of this. Our repeated petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. Our completely reasonable questions have been met with only scorn, mockery, and censoring. Because you were deaf to the voice of justice and blind to the plight of patriots. We, the citizens of the United States, appealing to the supreme judge of the world for the rectitude of our intentions, do, in the name and by the authority of the good people of this nation, solemnly publish and declare our right to be free and independent, that we are absolved from all allegiance to technological overlords, mainstream media delusions, deep state operatives, neo-Marxist movements, global elites, and captured institutions. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of a divine providence, 
We mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, our sacred honor, and our collective conscience as individuals, indivisible, and sovereign. This is not a revolution. This is a remembrance. Air, there's nothing left to remember. For our neighbors, our friends, our families, and our descendants, we declare our independence.